Mathematica offers a variety of methods to enter your calculations, making it really easy to get started. Let me make a new section cell. I'll go ahead and, and go to Format, Style, and Section, and we'll call this Means of Starting. Hit the down arrow key, or you can click your mouse to make that horizontal line to start a new cell. And I'm going to call this first subsection Free Form Linguistic Input. So there's three means of getting started in Mathematica 8. One is this free form linguistic input. Number two, again, I'll hit Alt-5 and say, let's call this Mathematica's programming language. I can hit the down arrow key again, or click my mouse to make that horizontal line underneath the text. I'll go to the cell insertion assistant, just so I keep switching up how I'm doing this, make that a subsection so you can find the style you like best. And I'll call the third one uh, use of palettes. Okay, so I'm going to move my arrow key back up under Freeform Linguistic Input. With Mathematica 8, you can start typing as you think, without having to learn any of the Mathematica programming language. For example, I hit the equal sign on my keyboard. Now, I'm now ready to start typing. So I say equals integrate 1 over 1 minus x cubed. And I'll hit Shift Enter on my keyboard, or I can hit Enter on the numeric keypad on my keyboard as well. Uh, and that runs the calculation uh, and calculates it for me. So Shift Enter runs all of your calculations. The equal sign in Mathematica, what it does is it sends a communication to the servers at Wolfram. It takes your input, it translates it to Mathematica language or input. And then it also gives you that result as output as well. So it alleviates all the need to learn the Mathematica language uh, up front. So let's use that cell insertion assistant. We'll use the equal sign and we'll graph this thing. We'll say uh, graph the thing from above. So 1 over 1 minus x cubed and we'll hit shift enter and that'll run that calculation. So what Mathematica does, it says, okay, I'm translating your word graph to the Mathematica command plot and then plotting this thing for you. Now, you'll notice when you integrate it or use this graph for Mathematica's function plot, you have this little plus sign. It shows you all of the results. So it gave me my Mathematica input and Mathematica output, but there's also a number of other results that are hidden. Let's click on that uh, here for integrate. It'll pull all of those other results up. Now, when this pops up, there will be a number of things I can look at. For example, I can show all the steps of this integration. So if I click on that, we can see all of the steps that Mathematica or you would use in integrating this indefinite integral. We also see below that the graphics. So there's a plot of that integral. Here are some alternate forms of that integral, a number of different options, series expansions, etc. Now for the graph, you can do the exact same thing. You'll notice replace the cell that you typed in with the actual Mathematica un input. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, the nice thing is if I replace it, I can now go in and just change this range, for example. So let's go from negative 5 to 5 and recalculate it now using Mathematica's programming language that using the freeform input helped me get started with. So that segues very nicely. I often use this equal sign to get started on my idea or concept. I can just put it down immediately and have Mathematica calculate it. But it's invaluable to learn Mathematica's actual programming language. And there's very, very simple steps to understand in using Mathematica's programming language. So let's go ahead and use other style of text. I'll make a sub subsection and I'll say four basic rules of that language. Hit the down arrow key uh, to make a new cell. I'll hit Alt-7, or you can go ahead and go to that cell insertion assistant. Now we'll say, number one, we use capital letters on all function names. Number two, you use square brackets around anything we want to calculate. Number three, we use curly braces for any lists or ranges. And number four, like we noted before, Shift-Enter uh, to run that calculation because the enter key on your keyboard makes just a carriage return because Mathematica is a great text uh, document uh, interface as well. Uh, so shift enter to run any calculation. Because Mathematica is such a great text editor, you want to be able to make those new lines and the enter key by itself will do that for you. So let's do uh, those two calculations above, now using the Mathematica programming language instead of the free form linguistic input. So the first one was integrate. The function in Mathematica is integrate with capital I. So we use a capital letter in the function name, square brackets around what it is we want to calculate. So we're going to integrate 1 over 1 minus x cubed, uh, the quantity, and we need to say that uh, with respect to x. 
Then we hit shift enter or enter on the numeric keypad and that will run that integration. We can also do that plot like we did above. So plot, capital P, square brackets around what it is we want to plot. We want to plot 1 over 1 minus x cubed and we will say x goes from negative 5 to 5. Now hit shift enter and there is that plot. So that's the actual Mathematica programming language. Capital letters on function names, square brackets around what it is you want to calculate, curly brace around any lists or ranges, and then shift enter. So it's, it's really just that simple. Now, when you're ready to learn more about the Mathematica language, I highly recommend that you check out the documentation. The documentation in Mathematica is terrific. Under Help and Documentation Center, you'll find all of that documentation. You can peruse by topic, so you see those listed uh, out here. Or you can do a keyword search. So I can type plot, for example, and it shows me there are almost 1,650 entries for plot. So let's just find the basic one. You'll notice there are four sections to this documentation page. The first one tells you how to type into Mathematica. The second one is more information. So it shows you options or attributes, you know, things you can add on to this function. The third section is a bunch of examples. So you can really learn how to use this function for yourself. Now, not only are they great examples, but they're all completely interactive. You can go in and change these calculations and make your own. So you don't have to retype these into a new Mathematica notebook. You can actually play and explore from the actual examples in the documentation. And then the fourth section down at the bottom shows functions that are like plot uh, so that you can click on and go back and look at tutorials. Um, you can get more information about plotting. So a lot of great pieces to the documentation to help you in your understanding of how to use certain functions or attributes of Mathematica. Now, not only can you search by function name, but you can search by topic. So for example, if I want to find all the information on statistics in Mathematica, I can click on what's called a guide page. For example, let's click on descriptive statistics and it shows me all the different functions in Mathematica on descriptive statistics that I can look at. You'll also notice tutorials and more information about these topics in descriptive statistics down at the bottom. So if I want to find information about curve fitting, random sampling, distance and similarity measures, all of that is right there for me to find very simply using the documentation in Mathematica. Now you'll remember we previously used the Mathematica language to create this plot. Now you can also use palettes for these too. If you're more of a mouse person and you want to point and click what it is you want to calculate, you can go to palettes and basic math assistant and that will assist you in this process as well. So for example under basic commands I can go to calculus tab. If I want to do an integral, here is that definite integral and it gives me those placeholders to fill in. So I say I want to integrate 1 over quantity or parenthesis 1 minus x cubed close parenthesis. Now hit the tab to move to the next placeholder with respect to x. Hit enter on the palette and it will run that calculation. We can go to the 2D tab for a plot. So click on plot and again all of these brackets and braces they're all filled in for me. I just need to know to fill in the placeholders. So what do I want to plot? I want to plot 1 over parenthesis 1 minus x cubed close parenthesis and my variable is x. My minimum is negative 5, my maximum is 5, hit enter, calculate and there is that plot. Now you can always, even without the palette, you can put this stuff in two dimensional form with the keyboard if you want. If I want to go back up here to the Mathematica language uh, aspect, I can type plot 1, then hit control plus the fraction sign uh, to make it two dimensional. So 1 over quantity 1 minus x. Now instead of shift 6 to make the exponent, I can hit control 6 to make that raised exponent to the third power. Hit the right arrow key to get out of the exponent and the right arrow key again to get out of the denominator and then hit comma x goes from negative 5 to 5. So you can type in the one dimensional form or you can type with the keyboard without needing to use the palace in the two dimensional form as well. Replace shift with control and that usually gets you the uh, two dimensional form that you need. Okay, so that's a quick look at just kind of getting started with Mathematica with either the free form linguistics, which we did above, the Mathematica programming language, the second thing we looked at, and then palettes, the third thing as well. Remember, anytime you want to type a new cell in Mathematica, you just hit the mouse, make a new horizontal line, or the down arrow key to make a new horizontal line as well. 
Once that cell insertion assistant pops up, you are ready to go. So in the next section, we'll explore some of the basic types of calculations that are possible with Mathematica, including exact calculations, numerical approximations, assigning variables, and even creating your own functions as well.